Hey, what's your thing friends and welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, we will share with you guys about why the Calyx ball is being created at this size. You know, I get questions like, why can't we make it bigger, you know, like really big. Uh, we do actually have another uh, set of uh, ball, which is uh, slightly larger, which is the uh, Lupao ball. And then we have one that is uh, smaller, which is the Calyx ball. And the reason for doing this is uh, at this size is because we really wanted to optimize the uh, the tank and the number of streams and we can actually do you know uh, a ginormous size and you know put it everything in and then just let it in the tank you know more doesn't mean it's better in this case usually uh, in the aquarium less is always more and we actually you know over time actually the um, the lupa ball actually came out first where we created that and we receive a uh, very good feedbacks from the german breeders and they are they are actually saying that you know our tank size are not so big uh, we do not have so many uh, streams in the tank and in order for us to really optimize uh, we really needed something smaller and that is where the optimization started so we kind of like went through r d and then look at uh, in terms of the ingredients in terms of the uh, build up you know what what actually will make it much better so over time, we actually uh, slightly move it to a smaller ball, uh, which is actually much better for hobbies because this is much easier to, to manage. I think that's the first and most important point. It's actually easier to manage because a large ball does not mean that it is better. You know, uh, like I've said, we can use a ginormous ball and then you know, put it in the tank for years and don't, don't remove it. So I think that's not the, the entire... Uh, we have tried it. Uh, but the entire ecosystem would not be able to actually handle it in, in that sense. Um, the reason for doing that is because we really needed to actually, uh, you know, make sure that we match the ball size to the tank. Like for example, if there is a much bigger or much larger tank or much uh, a tank that you have a lot of streams, then definitely a, a lupa ball will be uh, necessary. But if let's say you have even more streams like maybe you have 150 200 streams in a 80 liter tank then you know technically we should not have that so many uh, streams in the tank because it's being overcrowded and we don't want them to be overcrowded in the tank uh, and that's the reason why we kind of like stop at the lupao size we do not want to make it much bigger make it you know ginormous and then you know encourage people to uh, keep you know 200 300 streams in one tank and then overcrowd it i think that's not the direction uh, from from our standpoint and that is the reason why you know we really really uh, emphasize on you know matching the ball size to the tank and not the other way around not because it's a it's, it's you know it's actually much easier to to tie one big ball versus tying small balls all, all the time and the second part of this is that uh, for the calyx ball we also use a biodegradable uh, cotton cotton mesh and that's the reason why you know even over here you can actually see that we have two uh, both of them has burst out and both of them were being eaten uh, and slowly being consumed whole and that's the reason why we use a biodegradable one so the streams will not be impacted we could have used a synthetic like those tea bags synthetic tea bags that we actually see and it's also much cheaper and it's also much faster it has a drawstring in it um, but why do we use it you know uh, in such a way so a lot of times I have seen on posts that readers who use the Calyx board, they could only actually at the end of the day see the uh, see the ceramic ring which is used and even the cable tie is gone. So we try to minimize as much synthetic material as possible and keep it as natural as possible. Um, that's the reason why we continue to use the the quality the material that we've been using to tie the um, calyx ball so from that perspective you know uh, the calyx ball from that perspective it's actually a very simple ball we could make it bigger we could easily make this uh, super size and then we throw in the tank and then we can forget about it but that's not the whole idea of the uh, calyx ball so the calyx ball actually is used to create the biofilm and of course you know over time uh, when the uh, especially when you have snails they will actually you know kind of break it up and then you know the, the streams actually consume them so the, the content in there is not harmful the content in there even the streams will eventually uh, consume them uh, in totality 
So when do we actually do a like for example when do we actually use the looper ball? Like I've mentioned, you know, the looper ball is much bigger than the uh, Calyx ball. So over here from here you can actually see that we use two of the balls because one is actually uh, bursting out and then we add the, another one. And for this one it has been there for quite some time. And it has been, you know, even the uh, fissident is actually growing on it as well. So we actually use uh, different ball size to different types of condition. So for example, over here, we can actually see that, you know, uh, there is a lot of biofilm growing on that because there are very few streams here. Um, we cycled this tank using the uh, Calyx ball. We wanted to give it a little boost before the streams went in. So that's the reason for it. So. Whenever you look at you know, the Calyx ball, like for example over here, you can actually see that the, the size, maybe over here you can't really tell the difference. The size of this is uh, fairly different. One is larger, one is smaller. So whenever we use a Calyx ball, I'm just going to show you that um, when we put it in the tank, right, uh, and if you have like dentritus worms, and if you have like other types of worms in the tank, they actually do congregate around the, uh, the ball. You know, they do actually congregate around the ball. But however, if you do not have any dentritus, then you will not you know, they will not come to the ball in, in that sense. Because over here you can actually see that um, there are no there are actually no dentritus, uh, so they will not. But if your tank has dentritus worms, then the dentritus worms are very, very uh, they will come to the ball and then they will congregate around there, as you have seen for some of the breeders who will have that. Uh, that is also not harmful because dentritus worms is not harmful. Uh, one of the things is that we need to know is that the dentritis worms will be there because these are plant-based material, they will always be uh, there. However, if you have planaria, planaria actually do not consume, they do not actually like to go near this plant-based plant, plant -based thing. So you can be safely assured that uh, you know, from a planaria standpoint, this is not going to catch any planaria. So if you want to catch dentritis worm, this will have dentritis worm. This ball the, the content does not contain any of the dentritus. So if you see a dentritus worm, it is being it actually pulls the dentritus from your gravel uh, to the to the ball. So over here you can actually see that you know most of my tanks I actually use them uh, you know we call it religiously. Uh, the reason is because we actually see a lot of success in it. And we do not want to you know um, sell something and then we don't use it ourselves but for a lot of tanks that we see there are beneficial um, I mean it's, there's a lot of benefit to it and I'm sure for those who have been using it uh, religiously like breeders in, in Romania like Bokna people in Singapore I think there are a lot a lot of breeders who have uh, really liked using this and the reason I have mentioned again coming back the size is where we kind of optimize it we do i mean like i say we can make a super big ball and we can place it in there but there is no real reason why we should do that because it will then um, not jive or not do it very well together with the uh, tank ecosystem because with a small ball it's very easy to control you do not have to worry about you know um, it going bad you know and able to control it well and having that uh, is actually very sufficient is actually sufficient in terms of effectiveness it's actually more effective to have a smaller ball compared to a bigger ball because a smaller ball will then you will be you can actually see that from a stream to ball ratio you can actually see that you the the, the streams can actually benefit a lot more and once they for those who need to consume it they will consume it for those that do not consume it will not consume it so from that perspective i think uh, i would like to bring another uh, you know area of uh, interest regarding the uh, calyx ball is that you know the calyx ball uh, people have used it for cycling like for example we have used it sometimes for cycling and the reason for doing it uh, as a cycle is because after that we want to put a lot of streams in there and then they want to have good food in there so i will have another video that's coming out uh, this week and it will touch very deeply on the biofilms and stream breeding and the reason why you know some of the streams do not breed well sometimes is it pH issue is it uh, the biofilm and things like that but over here we have been using this biofilm ball for the last five years and it has given us a lot a lot of uh, success in terms of stream breeding and the quality of the uh, streams that has been bred out as well so thank you guys for watching this video and if you have any questions please feel free to put down in the comment section below and until next time
Peace out.